The A-Team presents Jenna and the Geriatric Suit. Uh, so today we're here with Brandy Thompson, um, Program Director of our Interior Design Program, and Jenna Krause, A-Team member who's willing to try something very new to her. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> shades. Uh, today we're going to be trying uh, Jenna in the Geriatric Simulator Suit. This is something that Brandy uses with her students to help them understand um, accessibility and design and the things they need to think about. We even have a walker. So um, we're going to get Jenna all suited up and then we'll see how she does. Let's do this. Let's go. Sausage fingers. Sausage fingers. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Now, how, which set of glasses? No, don't. No, no. <laughs> no you got to be worse than that. Let's go. Yeah, that that Is one. It? Okay. <laughs> All right, we fabulous. Have okay, so Brandy, can you please walk us through what Jenna is wearing in this season's fashion? <laughs> yes, yeah, so for this season, we have her all decked out in the latest gears to simulate possibly added weight, um, a bad back, um, joints that just don't move like they used to. Um, fingers typically get a little bigger and thicker as they get older. So we've got some really big, thick gloves on her. We've added weight so that it just, she can't, <laughs> she can't move like she used to. And then just to top it off, we've given her an eye disease. She has graciously decided and chosen for this fashion, the retinous pigmentosa. So Fantastic. Yeah, so, and also we've given her a walker because you know, that added weight, the joints. Sometimes we just have to have the assistance in the walking. So we're gonna have Jenna walk around the co-lab here and try out different areas. So first, let's have her try out one of our lovely stools that we have over here. I'm gonna sit on it. Mm -hmm. and, sit then, on it. and then try to get back up. <laughs> How do you feel so far? Heavy. You just started. Very heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. How is it walking with the walker? Is that? Well, I feel like I'm trying to make it. Okay, so before you get up, let's try, since these are the fun stools, shrink it. I think it is shrunk. Is it shrunk? I don't know. Okay. At that position, how much, how does it feel getting up? Heavier. Heavier. <laughs> yeah, you, I can see you had to move a little bit more with so your muscles. This works for interior designers for what we call, um, universal design so mm. we would look for chair height toilet seats for the bathroom because a typical toilet would be at this height when you get older or you have some disabilities you would want that little bit taller so it's a little easier to sit on and get off so all right, all right. so keep on turning around yeah <clears throat> let's try this couch see if you can make it like and really yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my legs are um, in water. It feels like when you're trying to run in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Try maybe like kind of laying, laying a bit, like yeah, right sideways, like and then this. trying to get up. You, you're, you know, you need your afternoon nap, okay? You, you've taken a nap, and now it's time to get up. And is this how you nap with your legs on the floor? Well, that's what I was gonna ask. Can yeah, I, let's can go, I get, let's go let's ahead. Go ahead. If you I'm can. An old man. Can you? Can he get his legs up here? Well, I mean, we're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend. All right. So, okay. Now go ahead and get up. I noticed you had to use your hands there to push <laughs> yourself out of the couch. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Um, let's try. And then get yourself comfortable where, and maybe try logging on and looking at your computer screen. <laughs> With your sausage fingers. While we may be joking about the sausage fingers and laughing, what you're about to see in a minute is that it really does prove challenging. <laughs> yes, and watch her head, how she's trying to try to stay focused. Don't look side to side. Just try to look straight through your glasses. <laughs> this is never going to happen. Oh. <laughs> But how easy was it? It wasn't. I was like, I'm pressing the wrong keys. And I can't see the keys. And I do have to look. What would you say what that your I... your sight, like, vision-wise, would you say it's like half the vision you normally have? Um, no, because I have perfect vision. This is like a third. Okay. Gotcha. So the other thing that we notice as we age is... <laughs> we... <laughs> I can't see her. We need the room to be brighter. <laughs> Okay. Um, so if you notice when you go to usually older people's homes, the, it's really bright in there. You very rarely just see it dimmed mm -hmm. and it's because of typically they have some kind of eye disease or another, whether it's, you know, just a cataract or glaucoma, those are pretty common. But if you get the degenerative and stuff like that, the more light, the easier it is. It can also have the negative effect on certain, um, eye disease, too much light can be blinding. So um, you have to really do the research for the clients mm -hmm. that you're working with to find out what eye disease they possibly have. Yeah. So. Well, I wanna thank you both for um, doing this today. And we're gonna let Jenna get out of this suit. Um, and then I'm going to debrief Jenna and get her um, opinion on being in the suit. So hold on. So we realize we forgot Jenna's neck brace which would simulate if you were actually wearing a neck brace or if you just had limited movement in your neck, correct, Brandy? Correct, so stiff joints again, um, just, yeah, just that limited, limit, limited <laughs> mobility. There's the word I'm looking That's for. That's the word. Limited mobility that <laughs> one might have. So well, imagine here is, you know, the cheeks wouldn't probably get pushed up because your neck wouldn't do that, but <laughs> it, it just gives that, you don't but have imagine mobility. trying to drive a car and look hard yeah. over your shoulder to... Yeah, you need to change lanes. Ch right. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so another thing I noticed when you were using the walker is that you were taking small shuffling steps, but you weren't doing that for show. You were actually doing that because... I was afraid I was going to kick the walker, so I was like trying to move <laughs> like this so that I did not kick the walker. And then also another question. So... Um, I guess you haven't been, you know, you've been wearing it a little bit, but what if you were in this, what if this was your life and you had uh, a fire alarm in your house and you had to get out quickly? There is no quick about it. Um, if you're a lot more weighed down, obviously, uh, that's intentional, but, um, you have to be a lot more intentional with your movements. Like when I was on the computer, um, I had to like really think about where my hands were going because I couldn't see every button I was hitting and it felt like I was hitting the wrong buttons um, when I was doing it and then I did it, but that's awesome. memory. Thank you, Jenna and Brandy. Um, tell us how you, do you actually put your students in this suit? We do, so for the, our INT 190 Drafting for Interiors class, they get to wear this um, when we're talking about space planning. You take it off. <laughs> <laughs> you take it off. <laughs> for our INT 190 Drafting for Interiors class when they're talking about space planning so that they can wear the other person's shoe. Um, so we'll even simulate like having a student try to sit in this little back area over here and show that it may not be as easy for someone with limited mobility and understand why those ADA um, regulations are out there. So it just helps to, I mean, it just helps to see that even though you're an able-bodied person, somebody else out there might not be. So when you're thinking residential, you're designing for that person. But you know what? You never know. Tomorrow you may get in a car accident. You may have to have a knee surgery, a hip replacement. And you're going to be um, not as able-bodied as you normally are. So you're going to be temporarily disabled. Um, in commercial spaces, we look at, we don't know who's coming through the door you know, at any given day or time. So we have to always keep that in consideration on um, materials that we use, um, door sizes, door swings, where that door is placed, where that chair is sat, how much spacing is between tables and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because 
we need to keep those in consideration. So in order to put our young able-bodied students into a situation that they're not comfortable in or, or are aware of, we use this suit to simulate to the best of our ability discomfort. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Jenna. Take a bow. If you can, can you stand back up? Okay, there we go. We're gonna get the rest of this gear off of Jenna. Ladies, thank you so much for teaching us about something new. And Jenna, thank you for trying something new and going beyond the comfort zone.